Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is negative staining technique. Let's start with negative staining technique. Now, when we talk about microorganisms, these microorganisms are not visible to our naked eyes. We require a microscope for its observation. But in microscope also, without staining, we can't observe these microorganisms. So it is important to stain the microorganisms, then only we can observe these microorganisms under microscope. But in some cases, what happens is some microorganisms don't get stained easily. Now, what are the reasons behind it? So, some microorganisms may contain a non-ionic charge on its surface as well as they can con they contain a slime layer. So, because of these two reasons, what happens when we stain the microorganisms, the stain don't get penetrated in the cell and hence the cell remains unstained. Now, in such cases, we have to find another way of staining the microorganisms. So, a different or a unique staining technique is used and that staining technique is called as negative staining technique. Now negative staining technique. Negative staining technique is the only staining procedure in which bacterial cell remains colorless and backgrounds get stained. Now let's see the examples of stain that are used in negative staining technique. The examples are 10% Negrosine, Eocene, Indian Ink and Congo Red. So let's start with staining procedure of negative staining. Take a clean grease free slide. Now how to make a clean grease free slide? Take a glass slide, wash it with detergent, air dry the slide, then pass the slide through Bunsen burner frame two to three times and then you will get a clean grease free slime further make a smear now here we use nichrome wire loop for making a smear because nichrome is a metal which heats faster as well as cool down faster it helps to save our time so here we use nichrome wire loop to make a smear so after making a smear we have to air dry the slide and here no heat fixation is done after air drying, take a drop of stain and make a thin film with other slide. Now, generally, we make a smear at the center of the slide. When it gets air dry, take a drop of stain at one edge of the slide and with the help of another slide, make a thin film of that stain. Further, air dry the thin film of stain and observe under microscope. This is a simple procedure of negative staining. Now let's see the mechanism of negative staining. First of all in negative staining we use two things that is acidic stain as well as bacterial cell culture. Now this both acidic stain as well as bacterial cell it contains negative charges. Acidic stain contains negative charge on its chromophore group as well as bacterial cell contains negative charge on its surface. Now these both charges as they are negative they ripple from each other. But at a side what happens the negative charge of the acidic stain binds to the surface components of the bacterial cell and hence the stain gets deposited on the surface of bacterial cell. This is the mechanism of the negative staining. Now further let's see the observation. Here with the help of a diagram I have tried to show you what kind of observation you will get in a microscope. Suppose this is a microscopic field of negative staining. So you are going to observe colorless bacterial cell with dark color background. This is going to be your observation. Now let's see the applications of negative staining. Negative staining is used to study morphological studies of microorganism that are difficult to stain by normal staining procedure. So the microorganisms which do not get stained easily by normal staining procedure in such cases negative staining is used 
and it is important to stain the bacteria for studying its morphological characters second is negative staining can be used to stain spirochetes so these are the basic two important applications of negative staining so thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel